today i'm going to explain you the interview question number one the interviewer which are dealing with the adam they will definitely ask you whether do you have an experience with the criterion flag derivation in the adam that time you should be aware how to derive this criterion flag when we use this criterion flags in the adam you should know uh, this is the way to answer to your interviewer here if you see the adam methodology requires the use of analysis criterion variable criterion flag along with the criterion evaluation result flag this is nothing but it is used to identify whether the criteria is met or not if you see below the <coughs> output if you see the title is like this summary of changes in vital signs systolic blood pressure is greater than 160 and change from baseline is systolic blood pressure greater than 10 this is the criteria and the output is going to based on this criteria so for the purpose what we need to do is this criteria is is uh, to be derived in the Adam level so what is this this criteria should be goes to the criterion flag if you go and see the first example the method one is analysis data set with criterion flag populated only the when criteria is met see this method in this method what we need to do we have an, a vital science data set and the parameter is systolic blood pressure and the aval values 163 and 140 the baseline is 140 148 120 for the subject may vary and this is a change from baseline and we need to uh, find out which uh, systolic blood pressure greater than 160 and if you see the criteria is systolic blood pressure greater than 160 this was 163 is the greater than 160 so the criteria flag is populated as y in this method first method the only criteria when the criteria which row uh, the criteria was met that row only we populated as y this approach only is defined for the param but conditions are not met only the specific row in this specific row the first subject only they met the criteria so we are populating y for the only for the first subject in case of the second method analysis data set criteria flag is populated all rows within the parameters for example we have an three subjects and the three subject has parameter systolic and the aval is there and the criteria systolic pressure greater than 160 and change from baseline is greater than 10 so this criteria is met for first subject so we are keeping as y and this is not met for the second subject so we are keeping as n and here if you see the systolic blood pressure is there the value is there but we don't have any change from baseline in this grade in this situation in this row we are not putting any yes or no just we are keeping as a blank most of the adam data set following the second method so uh, for this why we are populating all these records for this criteria means while doing the tables or listings for the cross tabulation uh, time this is very much helpful in this cross tabulation tables uh, you can find out how many a subjects are there how many no subjects are there just for the count this was very much helpful in every year or most of the atoms generally they follow this method two uh, rather than the method one okay and here if you see this is the third method in this third method if you want okay for example within the parameters uh, we are deriving one criteria flag like yes no it is fine if you want to derive a new parameter means something related to uh, mixed for example here the systolic blood pressure is there and diastolic blood pressure is there you want to create a one more criteria one more parameter like mixing of systolic blood pressure something greater than 160 and diastolic blood pressure greater than 195 that time uh, we have to insert a row because it is a bds structure and we need to 
insert a row between these two parameters and the param type is derived and here the aval is nothing but missing because uh, this is not related to any one of the parameter so we are giving as a missing aval and in case aval c as y because it met the criteria so we are giving aval c as y here the criterion flag this is systolic 160 is related to systolic blood pressure and the criteria is y okay and in case of the diastolic blood pressure greater than 95 it is met the criteria so criterion 1 flag is equal to y and the change from baseline in systolic blood pressure greater than 10 means this chd is greater than 10 so the criterion 2 means this is a second criteria this is a first criteria and if you have any so many criteria because based on the outputs we have to add our criteria okay and this is a uh, same thing in the vitals lab where the parameters are there where the criteria are there definitely the criteria flags were used in the cases okay uh, for more interview questions please uh, subscribe my channel okay this thank you